All right, we've looked at function notation before. Now we're going to look at function notation using graphs. In other words, we're going to look at encountering a new type of problem that you may have not seen before. And uh, we're going to just investigate that. So what we're looking at is here a graph, and it's kind of a complicated looking graph depending on whether or not you've seen piecewise functions. Uh, so the graph is of f of x. It's shown to the left. And it doesn't actually matter if it's super complicated like this or just a straight line or maybe a parabola. Uh, but what you might see is a problem that says something like solve the equation f of x equals 5. Now, you might actually not even see the word solve the equation. You might see it. It might be more wordy than this. It might be less wordy than this. But this is what we're, we're focused on. f of x equals 5. So it's function notation right here. right? And the words that this is f of x is actually saying is, for what values of x is this true? right? So what x values do, would I plug in here to get an output of 5? right? So we're, all we're looking at is on the x-axis here, what values when I am at x equals what number will I get an output of 5? An output meaning f of x, so like up here at y equals 5. So we're looking along the graph at an output of 5. It looks like right here. So it looks like it lines up at an x value of 6. Now, how do you write that answer? Well, you could just write it, the answer could just be like a set of numbers just 6. Right? You will see that as a solution, the set of numbers, these little curly brackets here uh, represent a set. Uh, you could also see, it really just means this, f of 6 equals 5. Right? When I plug in x equals 6, I get an output of 5. Now I'm saying plug in, we don't have an equation to plug it in right now. I guess we could make one if we found the equations of each of these pieces and put them together. But that's exactly what this is. So when it says solve the equation or you see something like this, it's looking, it's asking you what x values would I have that gives me an output of 5. Right? So let's, let's try another one. Let, what if we had, so let's draw a line there. What if I had f of, let's see, f of, I don't know, x equals maybe 1. Right? So what x values will give me an output of 1? So let's go to 1 on the output, and let's look across here both ways, both directions here. So here it looks like there's a hole in the graph, so we're not going to include that. There's a hole in the graph, and I strategically put that there, mainly because it would be complicated for me to figure out exactly what that x value is. But there's a hole in the graph there, but here there's an x value that corresponds to an output of 1, and also here, if you look all the way across the horizontal line at at y equals 1, or f of x equals 1, I should say, you have two different spots. So now we have a set that is more than one number, which is why these brackets are helpful here. We can put more than one number. So we got negative 4 is one number that would give us an output of 1, and, and it looks like, I guess, positive 4, right? So both of those numbers work. So in other words, f of negative 4 equals 1, and f of 4 equals 1. So you can kind of see why this set notation is going to be more helpful. It's actually less writing than writing f of 4 or f of negative 4 equals 1. So this is going to be your answer here. You could, some people like a boxed in or circled, but I guess you should check with your teacher what, you would, what they would like there. Um, and then there's another type of problem or a question I could ask surrounding uh, this graph here of f of x. And that is, what if I had, what if I said, and I'm going to keep moving this up, f of, well, I don't know, what if I said f of 2? What is f of 2 equal to, right? So you might not even see the equal sign. Well, f of 2, what happens when x is 2, right? So when x is 2, what is the output? It looks like the output is 2, turns out, right? So that's a little bit more simple. And it's some of the same notation as what you've seen before, except I didn't give you an actual equation. I didn't give you f of x equals x squared plus 3x, something like that. It's just using the graph. So we can use function notation with a graph as well. This is a piecewise function. Look for something on piecewise functions in the future. Good luck.